Hey buddies, Mr. Pluggly here, coming at you with another Borderlands 3 video. I found something amazing, and I cannot wait to show you. I found this amazing farming spot that just dropped so many legendaries, and I looked around on YouTube and I didn't find anybody report about it, or on Reddit, so I don't know if this is like new, I don't know if this is kind of an event that's happening. The only current events for April 4th is co-op loot increased and slot machines having increased legendaries and grenades but nothing that states that rare enemies drop more loot it's crazy because in one hour i attained 132 legendaries <laughs> it's insane i cannot wait to show you it's super easy very very easy to kill you could probably even get more legendaries if you're doing mayhem i'm currently only in normal mode and I got 132 legendaries in one hour. No loot multipliers. I gotta show you guys. But first, I gotta pick up all my legendaries. <laughs> Worst part about making legendary videos is that you have to pick them up. Alright, so first things first to get to the spawn area. It's really quick and easy. Um, you want to go to your map. You want to zoom out a little. We're going to be going to Promethea. And we're going to Atlas HQ. And there's only one spawn area, so just use that, the fast travel station. Now, I'm just going to do a slow run of it. Not going to do anything crazy. Just going to show you where it is. Show you how to get there quick. After we're done killing them, I'm going to run through five times really, really quick. Just so you guys see how quick and efficient it is to get this many legendaries in a very short amount of time. So, we're just going to run up the stairs. You can go any way you'd like. I like to jump over the bushes. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to stop right here. And so there's this little edge right here. And that edge. We're going to jump up here. Sometimes it doesn't let you grab onto the ledge. But just keep trying. You'll eventually get it. And then this one. You just jump on. We're just going to run all the way over here. Now I know some of you already know what this is going to be. Because some of you are familiar with all the rares. But for you don't. For those of you who don't, you're going to love the reference. Alright, so we're going to go, go up over here. You see all those guys patrolling up there? Now you can either wait for them to jump down or you can shoot them. Either way, they'll come down. So, they're going to do their little thing. And I'm going to get ready to start killing them. And since I'm doing a grenade build, I'm just amping up my damage real quick. And just going to throw a bunch of grenades. And hopefully we get a legendary the first try. <laughs> yeah, we, they, we did. All right, two, and three, wow, okay, uh, well normally it's just one, <laughs> I've gotten a total of five before, um, one of these rares can have a chance, a very low chance of dropping two legendaries at once, but if you get lucky, you know, you'll get three or even more, so don't forget to look at what you got, personally I already have a bunch of these type of legendaries because I did a whole hour of just farming these guys, so I don't really need any of these legendaries, so I'm just going to I'm just going to exit out to the main menu, and we're going to reload in, and we're going to be really, really close to the spawn area. So running to the spawn area of those guys takes about like 30, 40 seconds, and killing them takes like 10 seconds, and it just bada bing, bada boom, you get a ton of legendaries. Now, if you have any speed multipliers, I would suggest using it to run to the area. I have the legendary SMG, or assault rifle, I forget what it's called. Um... Vanquisher, which makes my slide speed 20% faster, which makes it a lot easier to get to. And then I like to go into Iron Bear at this point and spam jump because it does make you a lot faster. And I like to just throw, throw one little shot up there because you see the red dots on minimap right there? They're all coming down immediately, so you don't have to wait for them like I did originally. And then we're just going to blast them. Just use everything you got on them. Alright, we got one. And this guy is the only guy that I've gotten to drop twice. It's the, um, I don't like saying it because it's, you know, it's supposed to be a joke. But his name is Black Power Ranger. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, that was one run. We're gonna do it again. That only took, I believe, just one minute to do just to get one legendary. And if you get really quick, if you have a lot of speed multipliers, you can do a run in like 40 seconds. Now I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can right here. 
and we'll see how many legendaries we get. I'll do it uh, three more times just so you guys get the jits of it. I really encourage you guys trying this uh, route to get to these guys because it's absolutely crazy and how many legendaries I've gotten in just an hour. Like 132, that's freaking insane. Sometimes they're annoying and they don't quite jump down when you'd like to, but you know, just be persistent and they'll come down. There we go. Three legendaries again. Very, very surprised we got another three legendaries. Crap legendaries. Also, there's a chest here if you really want it. I mean, I, I'm, I personally never use it. Alright, so that took about, I think, another minute. That might have been 50 seconds. I don't remember. I have a stopwatch down here uh, trying to track my time to see how fast I can do this. My fastest time has been like 37 seconds, but I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do it quicker. <laughs> There's always someone that's going to be, you know, doing it quicker. Alright, so we're on run 3, I believe. I'm just going to jump up here. Let's switch to my best gun right away. This time. Throw a grenade up there. Get their interest. See the red dots on the mini map? That's what you're looking for. And wait for these fools. Now, if you had some better weapons, you could totally kill these guys super duper quicker than I am, but I'm just trying out an experimental build. Because if you guys haven't seen, I'm doing a no shields. No, 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 no. I'm doing a grenades only run. So that's the build I'm using right now. Um, I'm taking the warrant to actually use the grenades. I mean, use all my other weapons, but normally I wouldn't in my, my run. But just because I'm farming this, showing you guys how quick and easy to get these legendaries. Just doing it. Oh, I got him that time with the grenade drop. Oftentimes you'll see most of them come down except for one like uh, the pink power ranger didn't come down until like right near the end Sometimes I've had the pink power ranger stay at the very top um, And not come down until like after I'm done killing all the enemies like well over 20 seconds ago, but you know It happens. It's okay. So we got danger spinner Ow and the surge which is a common drop from these guys. We're gonna do one more run just to show you one last time easy to get there Super easy loot. You get tons of world drops from this. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no uh, vending machines around near the spawn area, but you can always try to get loot while you're killing these guys. Um, I personally like to have more than just two grenades at this point, but you know, it's whatever. And just like that, another three legendaries. It's wild, guys. I don't want any of them because I had them before, but I'm really farming these guys to see if I get any world drops, leveling up my no shields run. I mean, my no grenades run. I mean, only grenades run. Holy moly. But uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys really love this tactic. I want you guys to comment down below if you tried it, see how many legendaries you got in one run, if see if you get anything. Tell me if... I don't know, it's bogus for you, like maybe it doesn't work as well as other runs, but I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. Alright, bye bye
and the last shall be. First to immerse in a pass out heat. Facing him up with a moxie melt. Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell. Born a cave with a torch on a wall. Then a window arrangement of porcelain doll.